Donny, you've just signed a new one-year deal. How pleased are you to get that over the line? Delighted. Um, it's, it's been a, a long few weeks to try and get it done, really. Um, I'm delighted to, to finally sign another year. Um, this club means an awful lot to you, doesn't it? Yeah, as yeah, it's been a lot, a lot of well, a long part of my career. Um, I think it might be my tenth season with the with the football club going into this one, and it's, we've had some really good times. Unfortunately, you know, there's always negatives and and, and down days that's going to come, and, and unfortunately that was last season. But you want to try and rebuild and get back to where we was, and, and another promotion, which I was part of last time. Yeah. Obviously, don't want to focus too much on on last season. We're very much in the positive mind frame yeah, looking forward. But when that day came when we were unfortunately relegated, how did that feel to you as a person that does care so much? Um, yeah, it was tough. It was tough. Um, over the last couple of years, we've always found it ourselves in a similar position, but got out of it. Um, so I think deep down, and probably. I was very confident we were going to do the same because we really did find some form at the end of the season. So when it actually did come, it was it was it was tough to take, um, and you know we've got to move on. And they say we've got to be positive and and build on the end of last season, which you know the last ten fifteen games was 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 very good. Yeah, but is that the sort of um, positives you can take into the season? Because we went on that unbeaten run towards the end of the campaign, where we where we started picking up those points. Yeah, you've got to build on that, but you say that then the season ends and you've got to rebuild again. Um, people will be coming, people will be going. And you know it's up to the staff and, and the players then to, to build on that and, and look back and say, look, we, it's there. And it's start a campaign uh, as we as we left the last one. Yeah. Now that you've signed on pre-season starts just next week, are you looking forward to getting back in amongst the lads again and getting going? Yeah, definitely. Um, it's been a long summer, I'll be honest, because we haven't had a chance to go away. Um, and yeah, without, without without any summer holidays and not really going anywhere, it's I'm looking forward to getting in and, and itching to get back. So I'm sure this week will go pretty quick, and this time next week we'll we'll be all be back together and we'll have some uh, have a laugh on that. We um, spoke to you towards the sort of end of the season when you um, were very close to reaching into that top ten of the the all time record appearance holders. <laughs> You did go level um, with 10th place on the final day of the season uh, with Stevie Whitehall. Um, did that sort of play a big part in your mind as well as to why you wanted to, to sign on again? I know you, you spoke a lot about how much it would have meant to you to get into that top 10. Yeah, I was totally oblivious to it. And so like, like, it got mentioned by Greg a few weeks before the, the, like, the, um, the end of the season. I think it was four or five games to go. And it was ironic that if I played the four or five games, I would have been in the top 10. Um, so that was a massive incentive for me, really, to think. Um, I said towards you, you last, the end of last season, I said to yourself, well, "I'm not really going to look back on my career and, and have regrets, or you know." But I think for a person of accolades, to, to that's something I will look back and be proud of. Um, so yeah, that was once I did know that that was intact, and I can build on that and sign another year. Hopefully, fingers crossed, I should be able to, to climb a few more places. We we reckon. Perhaps next season all going well, you might be able to get as high as sixth or seventh um, on that list, which would be fantastic. But looking at your appearances, um, more than half of your appearances, your career appearances have come during your time at Rochdale. Um, can you sort of pinpoint any games that stand out from your time at the club that you sort of look at as as being the ones that are the most memorable? Um, I said to you at the start of the interview, um, we've had some really good times here, really good times. And we've had some really good fixtures and we've had some really good days out. Um, it's, always look back on over the promotion season, um, the Bristol Rovers game away. You know, that, was, that was brilliant, uh, Bunny scoring and uh, it meant a lot for him that goal. The day we clinched promotion at home, um, the FA Cup runs we've gone on. Even the first season here when we played, when Chef went to Brighton and we went to Southampton and beat them and beat them at home, did a double at Southampton. That, they, were, they were great games, Bournemouth away on the last day of the season. and. We could have nearly got into the playoffs that season. I think it was the Leeds game, the FA Cup game. Hendo's probably scored the best goal I've ever seen. Still to this day, um, that goal was unbelievable. Well, we've had some really, really, really good good times, um, and hopefully, fingers crossed that over the next coming twelve months, there'll be there'll be more positives and and things to look forward to. Fixture release day is on Thursday. We now know the makeup of League Two with Hartlepool um, getting promoted. Yesterday, is that a sort of day on the calendar that you look forward to? 
They, what, they, Hardy they... Go away? No. <laughs> Fix your release date. Oh, sorry. sorry. <laughs> I think it had Sorry. Um, yeah, no. <laughs> I don't know. Hardy I don't know why we got it Hartley Fool. <laughs> no, no, I love Hartley Fool. Um, yeah, no, it, it always, it always, is, yeah, it is, it is a day you look at because you say where's your Christmas period, where's your first day of the season, where's your last day of the season. Um, so that'll be likewise. Um, it's always around my birthday as well, so that's it. Always links in normally with 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 that, and you start to get the seasons coming then. Um, and then obviously that's been announced, and then we'll all be back in on Monday, and and, and pre-season starts, and yeah, very looking forward to to to, to kicking on again.